Saturday right now around like 11 a.m. I have been up and just, I don't know, just like enjoying my Saturday morning. As you know, during the week I get up like really early. But today I was just kind of like enjoying, you know, my morning and stuff. Had a little bit of breakfast and I also just did a IKEA haul for Instagram. So I was like, let me just pull out the vlog camera and show you guys what I got as well. And also, welcome back to your new weekly vlog. Very excited to have you. And I'm in a great mood today, so that's awesome. Anyways, let me show you guys what I got from IKEA yesterday. I'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you. Let let me get on the floor here. So here's a quick overview of everything that we are working with. So let's start things off. The first thing I got from Ikea is this plant. And this is a new pothos plant. I'm planning on putting this in my bathroom. And it's also in this white flower pot that's going to match perfectly in there as well. I love this. Usually in Ikea, their plants be looking kind of womp, womp, womp. But yesterday they were looking very beautiful so i was like you know what let me just get a plant and i got a pothos as you guys know i have several pothoses around my apartment um and i love them they these are the easiest plants that you can really get if you guys want to be like a plant mom or you're looking to get into plants definitely start here this is the very first plant that i received to grow and it was from Re, and Lola is doing great, so great. So this is definitely a very easy plan to take care of. So the next thing I got from Ikea is this um, little tabletop makeup thing here. Renee has this, and this is what she stores her everyday makeup products in. And I really just want something very simple, easy, easy to be moved around from room to room, because right now I go between you know, my bathroom and my room when doing my makeup and I hate having to carry that big whole, whole like thing I have. So I love this. It has, it has a mirror which looks like this. It's a really good size mirror and underneath it has little areas for things. So I feel like in here I could put like my concealers, some little, I, I don't know, whatever I really think. I. There are so many things I could put in here. And then this little tiny thing, I'm not really sure what I would use this for, but maybe like primers, eyeliners and stuff, if they're able to fit. And then down here, I'll put like my foundations, my blushes, whatever the case might be. I feel like this is just like such a cute thing to use. So I'm excited to just start using this. And it's just easy to transport this little thing from room to room. So that's kind of like why I like it, to be honest. I just love that aspect. I also got some new bins for my closet. The ones I have are so old and dirty, so definitely going to be swapping those out. This thing here is actually from Crate and Barrel, not Ikea. Renee got this for me as a little gift. It's for, it's a water container for your bedside table. It's basically how it works is you take this little glass thing off, you fill your water at night, and then throughout the night as you get thirsty, you just kind of like refill it. It's glass, it's sleek, it's so fancy and bougie. I love it. Cannot wait to start using this. I refuse to put it in my room now because my room is just so messy and I wanna put all these things once my room is clean. So we're gonna be cleaning today as well. Next thing I got from Ikea is this round container thing here. It comes in a pack of three and I'm going to put this in my closet as a little storage bin. I'm going to put maybe, for example, my hats and stuff or maybe belts, socks, little things like that that always just go missing. This is going to be the perfect storage area for those. Over here I have some Tupperware, but they're glass. Um, I just got some to meal prep for work now during during the week. So Rhea and I decided that we're gonna meal prep some more. So the plan that we have is we're gonna alternate. So Renee's gonna handle the cooking for Monday and Tuesday, and I'm gonna do um, Wednesday and Thursday, and then Fridays we can just do whatever we want. I think so. I got two plates here, so whenever I do the meal prep for, for, for Monday, I'll just pack her lunch in here, my lunch in here, so on and so forth. And if it's 
something that's larger and that requires like you could share it i'll just put it in this you know and then she got two for herself as well as well as a large size i hope that makes sense anyways moving on i got two waffle knit towels and some more kitchen cloths i can never have too many of these i love just having cloths to wipe down the counter and i love that these have a little hanging thing so i'm gonna put some pins in the kitchen and just hang these up also got some washcloths for my showering process i decided to get this color not only because it's very like spring vibes but it makes me happy so i just got these items for right now from ikea very excited about everything that i got everything looks so good so yeah i can't wait to like start packing these and cleaning up my space so i can start using these but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I got some candy as well, but I don't really know if you guys would care. They have the best Swedish fish there, so pick that up. So <laughs> I actually made it into the office. I really wasn't planning on coming here, but I decided to come in because the next time I'm going to be here is going to be on Thursday. So I'm going to be gone for three days, three work days, and I just wanted to come in to dot my I's and cross my T's. So to speak um just kind of sort out myself also i'm not sure if you guys saw anything wait let me show you something really quickly we had added a couple of things to the office space i just wanted you guys to see what it looks like um we added this black shelf here we built this last night before we went home um it's black and brown. We are gonna add some more trinkets to it, you know, to make it more aesthetically pleasing, but we added that shelf just to kind of add to the privacy aspect. Though it's not really working for privacy, you know, people still look in here, but it's not as bad, you know, it's just something, it's just an object. And then those are my shopping bags from earlier, but yeah. Back to me. So yeah, I just came in the office to just kind of like straighten up some stuff. Even though I think when I'm away, I'm just going to not upload. I really need to like rest. I feel so burnt out. Like I feel so exhausted. It's not even funny. But just for a quick little haul before I go, I got a MAC setting spray in the scent Coconut. I already have this. As you guys may already know, I just wanted a new one because mine is almost out. The next thing I have is this ultra facial cleanser and this is from Sephora. And we're having this for this was on sale for like $23, this massive bottle. So I was like, you know what, let me get it because I love this cleanser, as you guys may already know. And the next thing I got from Sephora is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. I tried this on in the store. I am obsessed with it. I got two shades. I got one in 420 for my highlighter color. This one here and then i got one in my foundation shade this one here it is so beautiful i actually have it on on my forehead so stunning as you guys can see just airbrush smooth everything um i also got this urban decay hydromaniac tinted glow hydrator it's actually a medium coverage it's basically a tinted moisturizer which is so funny i remember when i wore these back in the day and i was like this is not the wave but this looks so pretty on um i can't wait to wear this i really want to start wearing the powder foundation but she did say to it can be worn on its own but if it's too light for me or i have scarring which i do have i could just layer on with this
Morning guys, so it's 6.32 a.m. on Monday. I look crazy right now. I, <laughs> so last night after I blew out the wig, I decided to curl it, pink curl it, and let it sit overnight. Now it's extremely curly and it looks so crazy. And <laughs> like, I, my period is coming, I'm swollen. I feel like a Oompa Loompa, an elephant. A hippopotamus. I'm trying to find some sort of a clip like this, but not white because Hey guys, so just got to the hotel. We got a little junior suite situation. This is the king size bed with this really nice sunroof area, very pretty. This really nice couch, coffee table, TV. Then we have you know, some coffee stuff. This is the entrance. The bathroom is absolutely stunning. I'm so obsessed. Just like this area where you can get dressed and double sinks. I love this. So this is the, um, that's me right now. Just fresh off a of flight. And then this is the bathroom. I love the tub, freestanding, beautiful. Love, love, love. So yeah. This is the room basically for now. Just got here. Day two, and it's so much um, sunnier now. I'm excited. So much more sunny today. I'm excited to get a tan. Guys, for my pasty skin. Yeah, yeah Renee is so pasty. Guys, I don't know if it's the Miami sun that makes me look paler than typically, but. You, you need some sun, honey. Ew. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have that problem. <laughs> you see, us chocolate girl, the melanin, All right. All right. the melanin stays. <laughs> the melanin stays. I got a tan 24/7, sun or no sun. The skin <laughs> does what it gotta do. And anyways, we're all dressed for the pool right now. Um, like yesterday, we drank so much, I threw up my entire guts. <laughs> and um, there's nothing in my belly. Not a morsel. Nothing of in my. There's nothing. Not my belly. Dust. I'm running on E right now. <laughs> running on E. The only thing keeping me alive right now is maybe like adrenaline because I yeah. did lose a very important document of mine, Guys. and it was very stressful. And I ate like a whole bucket of ice chips. It was it was a lot. But it's all now because we found it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> 
See, this is why I don't come for my God. <laughs> this is why I always tell people do not come for my God. I don't know who y'all pray to, but the person that I pray to at nights he got always it. comes through. He got it. I promise you, the person who I pray to at night, God who I pray to at night comes through all the time. I will never doubt him again. I will never. Anyways, let's go eat because I'm Guys. about to die. I'm literally running on E. Empty. Okay, chapstick. My wallet. So yeah, that is the plan bathing suit of the day. Is this one here from Lounge. It's like a little cute little one here with undies. Um, yeah. To be honest, we're just gonna go to, go to the pool for a bit. Hopefully, catch a tan, and then we're gonna come back and get ready for dinner later on. Very excited. Last night was really a flop because. I, it was chaotic guys. It was so chaotic, but you know what I always say If it didn't happen, it wasn't meant to be like there was a reason why I couldn't find this thing there was there was a reason why I Had to be in my bed there were there was a reason So it's all good. Sorry the light keeps chipping in and out the lighting isn't great all over the room like if I turn like this it Gets dark because all the windows are ahead of me but um, just, we're just gonna pack up and head downstairs now.
morning you guys so today is whoa <laughs> i'm not necessarily like afraid of heights but like standing next to the window like this kind of scares me but today is wednesday we're leaving today i'm so sad i'm so sad i want to flip the camera around and show you why like i definitely have to come back here like before the year is over it was just so beautiful at this like resort thing um, so yeah, let me show you what my view is like right now. This is the view right now. It is very gorgeous here It's very nice um, Yesterday I was sitting just right here just laying out me and Ri getting a tan just yesterday um, So That's basically that it was really nice here. I really enjoyed like cooling out for the first few days. It was very nice. The first day I got here, I drank way too much and I was very sick. So I wasted that entire day. And I also lost that important thing. So <laughs> it's a long day. But it's all good though. Um, today's a new day and I'm just gonna head back home. Today is Thursday. As you can see, I am back in New Jersey and um, it's currently 1.30 p.m. I was gonna film earlier this morning, but I filmed the video um, earlier, but um, I am so tired. I'm clearly not in the mood to like edit. I have a video due today and I kind of feel like I'm just gonna postpone it because I'm just not in the mood. I just feel like because I'm starting the work week and like on like a Thursday, it just feels like <laughs> body and mind ain't here. I'm gonna have to start this off on Monday to be honest. But of course the weekly vlog, I'm working on that right now because I know for a fact like that has to go up. But today's video is definitely, I'm gonna have to wait for my body to readjust because it's still not like where it needs to be. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. It's just like a typical Thursday. Um, there's happy hour here on Thursday, so I'm excited for that. I want to see what they have. I think we did tell them that. Well, Renee and I, when we were out there last week, she was like, they had Bloody Marys. And um, obviously, well, not obviously. I'm not going to say the word obviously. Renee and I don't like that kind of <laughs> a drink. So she had she had asked us what our favorite drinks were so we mentioned margaritas and moscow meals so i hope they have one of the two or at least some wine at least because ugh, i don't want that um luckily we actually had wine here from last week um we bought wine last week i don't know if i showed you guys but we found this wine that's like by cameron diaz it was so so good. I don't know if I showed you guys the bottle. I think I posted it on the Instagram, but let me show you guys the bottle. It was so good. Definitely will be a favorite of mine moving forward. So this is the brand of wine that I'm talking about. It's called Aveline. Aveline, I don't really know how you pronounce it, but this is the white wine, which wasn't bad either. It's like the perfect balance of like dry and sweet. It's like very crisp. And I can imagine how great this will be cold. Right, Ree? I feel like it was so good in like room temp. Yeah. I, I just know when this is like cold. And I feel this is perfect for like oysters too. Like mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's dry with a crisp, fresh finish. And it's just that, it's amazing. And then the red wine, fantastic. I'm gonna Google all the wines that she had. So yeah, anyways, I'm trying to debate whether or not what to eat for lunch because I'm fucking hungry. So, um, I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, this there's not many food options around here, you guys. And it's like so annoying. Hmm? Actually, I was thinking something way worse. I, I just feel like ramen right now is like. <laughs> No, because it's such like a trek. 
it's a track of the warm goodness. It just I know, and then it's like to get back in the car car after like that delicious meal and then to like <laughs> come back in here. I'll do ramen tomorrow though, because I feel like it's the last day for us to even do nothing like that. that so next week we're gonna be doing like meal prepping and I'm trying to think if we should um Brene brought the idea of to make like a series where and they have been telling me that they miss like the cooking portions in the vlog. Cause when I go home now after after the office, I'm not cooking. Sleep. I just well, go, I shower and go to sleep. Okay, so Renee and I are gonna do like meal prepping now for the office, so we can just cut back on like spending so much. But also, we need to watch what we're eating because when we buy lunch every day here, we're not eating healthy. We're eating crap. So we need to like get it together for many reasons. So we're gonna start start meal prepping. So. For four days, so Monday through Thursday, we're gonna handle two of us. Each of us will and will handle two of the days. Probably alternating. I thought alternating would be better. What do you mean by alternating? So I do Monday, you do Tuesday. I do one. No, no, no. You do Monday, I do Tuesday, you do Thursday. No, why do I can't say that easily? You do Wednesday, I do Tuesday. You do Wednesday, and then I do Thursday because I think if we alternate, it'll be easier. Because I like, I don't want to like put on Sunday. Like I would prefer to cook it. Fresh. But remember what I tell you. Remember what I told you about that that whole fresh business that you're talking about. Okay, I'm gonna try it the week one. If it's not gonna work out, we'll wait for Monday. You can cook the fresh meal. It's gonna give me, but <laughs> when I cook the fresh meal, go give you. No. Fresh enough. No. When I, when I say fresh, okay. So if if I'm gonna do steak next week, I'm gonna just get like I don't know, like three steaks and like dice them up, and then one day we're gonna have like a burrito bowl and then the next day you're probably gonna get a steak salad but it's no, the same yeah. steak you repurpose it no I, I, I like the idea of okay because i'm not trying to make you chicken on monday and fish on thursday i'm not doing that no, I'm okay to that. okay but basically why i think that the alternating just makes sense because that's why i hate meal prepping i hate eating the same thing day after day after day nor do i want to cook day after day after day so i feel like if it's cooler it's like we have less pressure of cooking every day but we're getting something different every day Okay, and I agree where you're. I agree with what you're saying. But the thing for like me, like I would just want to cook one day when I'm in the mood to do it, as opposed to like be worried about like leaving here like Wednesday at like late at night, yeah. and then I gotta go home and cook for Monday for, for Thursday morning. Like that's just gonna stress me. So you can do it your way. You let me know how you pan out. But it depends on the meal though. If it's like a fish I'm gonna make that day, I would want to make that maybe the same morning, like when I leave it. I'll just wake up early, just put in the broiler or something. But like, I mean, if I come home on Wednesday night and my turn is Thursday, and I just don't feel like doing it, I'm buying it. I'm putting it in the Tupperware. At the end of the day, you're what are you gonna buy on Wednesday night? I don't know, but you just know you're responsible for that day. If you didn't, cook, no, spring Sunday, no, that you are. I agree. <laughs> and if you go have lunch. If you gonna buy lunch the next day, you gonna buy lunch you because you had a responsibility. Exactly. So that's how I see it, and that's <laughs> fine. Bye. It looks so greasy right now, but please ignore that long day. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys this this vase or vase that I picked up from Crate and Barrel um the other day. Uh, I was waiting for it to be come to come back in stock, and it finally finally did. So I got this fruit. I really really I like it a lot. It reminds me of the vases that have like the butt. But it's not that, and it wasn't expensive at all. I ordered a dresser that's gonna come soon, and this can just sit on the dresser. Um, it's not here yet, but I'll leave it here for right now. But I love it so much. I feel like it's gonna be like the perfect little addition to like a bedside table. Like this looks really nice already. Um, let me move this other stuff because this is not the aesthetic that I'm going for. But yeah, like I feel like something like that is so cute, but it's gonna go on my dresser. I have a dresser coming that I'm gonna just put in this corner. As you guys know, I don't own a dresser and I really need to get one right now. Like it's just becoming ridiculous. I just need somewhere to put like, you know, like clothes and stuff. So I'm definitely kind of like redoing my room a tad bit. So I'll officially do a room tour once everything is done. I ordered a chair also from Target for like a little corner chair. I feel like that would be cute because I really want to create like a reading corner or like a reading nook in my room. And then um, I might put the chair here. And then the dresser can just go over here, I think. Um, the dresser might be coming tomorrow. I got the dresser from Crate and Barrel at a really great deal. It was like originally like 
$1,300 but it was on sale for like $350 because it has a little dent and it was also a display item so really big discount and I'm so excited because it's literally perfect for in here it's wooden with gold accents which is kind of like you know the tone I already have going on like little gold accents like very tan beige color and then the chair I have is beige but but the legs are black which is fine because I do like black as well in my room. So it's just going to be like, hopefully it's going to complement everything really, really well. And just so I can like get my room organized, to be honest. I'm excited for that. I'm always redoing my room, but I feel like what I have going on right now is just going to be perfect. So as of lately, I have not been making dinner or cooking that much because after I come home, you know, I'm not really hungry because we usually have like a late lunch. And I don't like to eat after 7 p.m. because that's not good for you. Well, it's not good for me. I go to bed pretty early and just sleeping with that food in my system just doesn't really work in my favor. So I try not to eat very late. But um, I'm defrosting some shrimp right now. I have six shrimps here. And I'm just going to make some shrimp scampi, something very simple and light. Watch some Netflix, really unwind and relax. Um, the dresser is coming tomorrow. Um, the the delivery guy says um, between two and four. Um, I had to hire like a third party person to, to bring the dresser because because the item is already built and assembled. Um, crate and barrel is just going to wrap up the furniture and then he's gonna go grab it and then I have to just be home. So I'm gonna go to work tomorrow. I'm gonna go so I'm gonna go into the office like really early tomorrow. Like I'm planning on being there by 8:30. And really get get a head start on on the weekly vlog and then so I can be home in time to receive the dresser and then I might go in on Saturday it's pretty much the plan so I'm gonna shower and do all of my little bedtime nighttime stuff and then I'm gonna come back and get dinner started so I really hope you guys enjoy this little cooking segment I know you guys missed it but I know why you missed it though because it's so therapeutic I, I know what you mean watching a person cook and like make food or prepare a meal to me is just therapy I like to watch it so I got you mm -hmm. 